Hello everyone and welcome once again to the same workshop. Today I'll be showing you guys how to cut a blazer, a suit. So in this tutorial, I will break it down into two major sectors, which will be the cutting and the sewing aspect. First and foremost, the cutting aspect will be break down into four major aspects, which include the cutting of the bodice, which we are going to do right now. Secondly, will be the cutting of the sleeve. Thirdly, will be the cutting of the lining, the suit lining. And the fourth one will be adding stay, the gleaming of stays on the suits. So make sure you pay closer attention to this. It will have been so good if you are zooming, you are with me in the workshop right here. You could have probably like asked any question. However, as you always know, if you watch my previous video, I try as much as possible to be very, very, very clear with this video and try as much as possible to explain everything step by step. So if you follow this video step by step, you're going to get the definite result that I'll be, I'll be getting. So make sure you pay closer attention and make sure you enjoy the video. If you have any question, if probably you have my number, you can chat me up on WhatsApp. However, if you can chat me up on WhatsApp, there will be a chat box down below this video. You're going to see a green button with chat with us. If I'm available, I will reply your questions and I will answer your questions. Thank you. So let's get into the video. Make sure you enjoy it. Make sure you go to my channel and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram if probably you can contact me via that or Facebook and Twitter. Thank you. My name is Talala Sukumi. Let's get into the tutorial. Welcome once again to the swing workshop. So today I'm going to show you guys how to cut a suit. But first and foremost, here we have our measurement. You can record the measurement you took the last time. So here, and everything I'll be using, I'll be needing my scissors. I'll need my chalk. And I'll be needing the ruler. If you actually have a, a ammo cough, all those ready-made ammo cough, you can use it. But right now, for the sake of those that probably might not have it, However, I mostly use my hand. I use a free hand carving when I'm cutting. So the very first thing you'll be doing right now is taking my four lines. So here, I'm going to like mark out one inch. So just an interval. I'm going to mark one inch there. Can you see? Let's mark one inch line here. So I'm going to run a straight line. Right from here. So can you see that? So the next thing I'll be doing right now is I will be taking my four line, which is the under on the chest, the center of the chest measurement, which is 10 inch, it's mostly 10 inch. That is from the neck down to the under bust, like around the chest for the armhole. This will also be used for the armhole. I'll be taking 10 inches. If you're sewing for, uh, it's mostly uh, the same thing for adult suit making. If you are cutting for a younger child, you can measure from his neck you can measure from his like his shoulder down to his under bust that should be part of your measurement but for general adults it's mostly like at 10 inches so um the half length measurement is 17 inches that is where the tummy and the or probably the waist that's the upper waist that's where it's going to be and total our our length, the length in which we measure, that's the front length, is 28 inches. 28. So to that 28, I'm going to add 2 inches to that, which will be for the slant here. I will be cutting like half of an inch here. And that will be also folding inside like around 1 inch inside for the um, suit lining. So I'm going to mark 
that's 30 for the length. So I'm going to mark the same thing at this place. That's going to be 10, 17, and 30. Can you see that? This is what we have so far. So now I'm going to I'm going to rule all of this out and put my measurement at the side. I'm going to rule all this out. I'm going to rule this. I'm going to do this also. So far, this is the lens. This is the ham hole. That's the underboss which will be used for the ham hole. And this is the waist measurement. So the next thing I'll be doing now is uh, our chest circumference is 36, if you can recall. So what I'll be doing now is dividing 36 by 4, which is normal. 36 divided by 4. So I'm just going to follow this in order for you guys to see it. 36 divided by 4, which will give me 9 inches. Can you see that? For the sewing allowance, I'm just going to add 1 inches to that because I'm cutting a suit and uh, I don't need excessive inseam inside of it. So I'm going to mark my 10 inches right here. Our waist measurements like our upper waist measurement is let me see again our upper waist measurement which is the stomach aspect sorry don't forget is it that you call it stomach or you call it waist measurement which is 29.5 then you also divide that by four Divide that by 4, which will give me 7.5. I will approximate that also to 8 inches. And I'm going to add 7.5, so I'm going to add 1 inches to that, which will give me 8.5 inches. I'm just going to make it 9.5 inches because I don't want a lot of cough here. It's not really, it's actually matter because that's the waist aspect. I don't want the waist to be too tight. So I had an extra one inches to the division, which we have here. I hope you guys are paying attention to that. So here also, which is the hip, our hip is 37 inches, which will be 11.5. So here, this is what we're going to be having. Do you see that? This is what we're going to be having. Don't forget all the inches we add. It's going to be at an interval of it's going to be one inches. So I'm going to divide all the inches we have here is going to be one inches, but I'm going to divide that inches by one. I'm going to divide that one inches by two, which will give me that is what I'll be using for the inseam. Inseam has to be very, very small. Do you see that? So the next thing I'll be doing now is taking the shoulder measurement. Don't forget if you can recall our shoulder is 17.5 which is 17.5 and I'm going to add just a little bit of inches there 
which will make it 18 that will be showing another one 17.5 plus a little bit of inches so i'm going to mark nine at that point okay i'm going to mark nine at that point so i'll mark my shoulder right here so i'm going to mark it also here i'm going to mark the nine also here can you see that so when you take a closer look Hope you guys are following what I'm doing. It's actually simpler than you could probably imagine. So here I have my show, my arm hole. So what I'll be doing now is making out the arm hole curve. And because it's a suit, the arm hole is going to curve a lot more than actual Coughing of an arm hole. So here I'm going to be cutting out one three one two quarter for the hand hole. I'll be cutting out one two quarter. But if you're it's like a universal way of cutting an arm hole for a suit. If probably you are cutting for someone or um, bigger than this size, you can go for two inches or 1.5, depending on how wide the chest is if assuming you are here you can actually ask a question but you can have access to me to ask questions so the next thing i'll be doing is making my hand hook off just over this thing let's make it off like this which we go Do you see that? Just go in and side the wall. Do you see that? That's how deep your arm will cost you off. But if assuming you have a arm will call itself, you can definitely use it. Just a straight point. So here, I'm going to take my neck wideness. The wideness of my neck is going to be at 3.5. You can measure your neck round, but if you don't measure your neck round, you can actually go for this. I have a neck of 3.5. So I'm going to slant the shoulder by 1.5 inch. You see that? So from here to here, I have my shoulder slant. You see that? Of my shoulder slant from here to here so now our neck curve don't forget the width of our neck is 3.5 and the depth is going to be at 3 inches 3 inches but up above these 3 inches I want you guys to pay closer attention to this up above these three inches, I'm going to mark one inch. I'm going to mark one inch. And in between here also, I'm going to mark one inch. Can you see that? I believe you guys can see that. So I'm going to make a cuff. I'm going to make a cuff from here. Down to this down to this place which will be for the neck we have a neck cuff you can use it can you see that i make a cuff here so from here from this particular point i'm going to make a straight line down to this point down to here do you see that do you see that so now all we need is our lapel our lapel like the 
the color of the blazer you see we are getting somewhere so all we need here the color is going to be at 2.5 inches so i'm going to mark it down from here to this place that's 2.5 inches so it's going to open down from here to this waistline so i'm going to mark it i hope you guys are paying closer attention so we have our lapel at 2.5 inches maximum so if we bend it we're going to have this we're going to have this so the next thing i'll be doing now is Oof, it's not easy man. the next thing i'll be doing is making uh i want you guys to also pay, pay attention to this part from here So here I'm going to measure 3.5 inch at this point. I'm going to measure three point five inch also here. So I'm going to make a curve. Let's make a new curve. So it's You see that so the next thing i'll be doing is i will be taking out my my pockets from this point down here taking my measurement length which is 20 20 inches my measurement length here that's 20 that's for the pockets i also mark it here also 20 do you see that so between here which is the main main borders from here to here that's 10 i'm going to divide it by two which will give me five inches which i'll be using for the chest that that's for the front that also here five inches and this will be the starting of the pocket from here to here the dart does not go beyond eight inches which will be here on adult outfits the dart does not go beyond eight inches only if you're creating another style so i'm going to make my mark from here to here to my pockets just a little bit outside of this you see that this will be for the pockets and this will be for the that So here I'm going to divide my dad the dad is going to like give it a little bit of of here. I'm going to make I'm going to make it that here. You know the usual we use like with that, but it should not be up to up to up to an inch. I'm just going to color the dad there. Mm 
You see that? So just become my debt. Have my pocket right here. So the next thing I'll be doing is I'll be doubling this and zero another ones also. Just make sure the stitches are double. So now I'll be cutting the smaller pieces and what I'll be doing is simple. So here to get the smaller part for this outfit, uh, which is the side, the side that to get the side that just a little bit of division between the front and the side so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to divide the main chest the main outfit um the main chest which is 36 i'm going to divide 36 by 8 which would be 4.5 so at this side i'm going to remove here what i'll be doing is extending this mark to so be there So the one here, which is 17. The one at the down part. So what I'll be doing right here is simple. I'll make a straight line at this point. Do you see that? Make a straight line from here to this place. And the next thing I'll be doing is I'll be making this 3.5 that's the, the chest the, that is divided by 8 which should be 4.5 then i'll remove 1 inches from that and i'll make it 3.5 so here i have my 3.5 from here to here also i have my 3.5 from here also have my 3.5 so for the side overlap, I'm going to add two inches to this place. That'll be for the side overlap. So I'm going to make a mark here. Pay closer attention to what I'm doing right now. to add one inches to this place which will be for the cuff it's mostly at one inches even if you're cutting for the child so i'm going to make the cuff take it down do you see what i did so here i'm going to cut out the dots i'm going to make just make it a little bit right here also here, so I'm going to put in the middle from here. It's actually crazy explaining how to cut a suit. I, but I hope you guys find a way to understand what I'm doing. So I'm going to make it that here also. So do you see that? This would be a dart, this would be a dart. So we have enough like two dots here. So this place we're going to join it together to give it that fitting at the side of the suit. See that? So now 
the side slit which will be the overlap is going to be at 8 inches 8 inches by 2 so here we have this we have this Did you see that? So automatically we've cut the front, we've cut the side, and it remains the back. So let's cut the back right now. So for the fact that I'm cutting it together, this is the best technique I used to use in order to make it easier for me to cut out a blazer for a suit. So for the fact that I'm cutting together, all I will do in order to cut the back is I just make an extension of this thin line, this the down part, the um, the half length that's the waist and the chest. So I'm going to just make the line go a little bit longer. I'll make this one also a little bit longer. I'll make this also go a little bit longer. So the next thing I'll be doing uh, on that is very simple. I'll be leaving an extra one each here. Extra one each. That's from here. 17.5. So I'm going to mark that also here. 17.5. So I'll be making the same here. So this way I'll be doing the back, the back panel. So let's do it. So first and foremost, let me just take you guys through what I did here. This is the shoulder. This is the shoulder side. This is the chest. This is the first line, which is the this is the first line, the chest, the waist, and the length. So that is it. I hope you guys keep following me. So now I'm going to take out the back panel. I'm going to cut it out. Okay, so here, very first thing I'll be taking out is my overlap, which is I'm going to take out my two inch overlap. See that? So now I'm going to take out my shoulder. My shoulder is nine inches. I just follow the same measurements here. Oh, sorry. The back half length, if you can recall, the back half length is 9 inches. So I'm just going to add 1 inches to that, which will make it the measurement the half length is inches. So I add 1 inches to that, so it's inch. So this is what I'll be doing here. The shoulder, which is nine. So here also, I'm going to mark the ten. I'm going to mark the 10 inches. 10 is from here. I'm going to mark the 10 inches here also.
Are you seeing what I'm doing? So for the back, for the back next length is going to be at one inches. So let's take out my one inch here. And the extension which is at from here is 3.5. Let's take out my 3.5. Don't forget for my 3.5. You see that? Take out my 3.5. Then the shoulder slant, which is at 1.5 inches, let's take out my 1.5. Space. You see that? So if I mark this, I'm going to have this front here. Sorry for that. Here I have the shoulder with the leg curve. leg curve to this part. You see that? Can you see that? So here I'm also going to add the one inches. Remember, I had the one inches for the upper part here for the cuff, so I'm going to add the one inches also here, and the cuff at this place will be at half of an inch. It's mostly at half of an inch, so you are going to come in just like this. Just like that. You see that? I believe you see what I just did. So from here, I'm going to make a straight line. From here, to make a straight line like here. See that for this dot right here, need to make it go like this. So this is what you'll be joining here and here together, and then we create a dot in between here and here. The extension of sewing of the bag that do you see what I just did right there? So now I'm going to mark that bag. See that. At this point, also, I'm going to make a little bit of that right there. That is for the back, that. So I'm going to double that. See? Down to this leg part. Oops, do you see what I just did by there? This is the accurate measurement, and this is the allowance, the one inches I added. This is the one inches I added to that. So the last but not the least is here. And this 3.5 inches that I did here, I'm going to add one inches to the bottom parts, which will be used for the just one inches. 
municipalities there. This should be for the for the lining overlap. I don't know if you understand that, but during the sewing aspects, I'll show you, I'll show you guys what that is used for. This will be the one that will be folded inside very well so that the lining will not be obvious at all when you're sewing. So now we have this and uh, let's cut. I'll be adding just a little bit of you know, cutting this because I still want to see the chalk so that I'll be showing you guys. I'm not cutting exactly on the chalk, I'm cutting at the back of the chalk just a little bit. You see? Yeah, also. So I already made so I'll be cutting the chalk here because I already make it double. So here, this is what we have. I believe you can see this clearly. This is what our suit will look like. It's very fitted and uh, very fitted. It will be very fitted and clumsy. So this is it. So now I'm going to cut this other side. Just pay close attention to the cutting. This is the dart, so I'm going to cut this out. You see that? So I'll be cutting on the back. So this is it in total. So for you to see what we just did, so I'm going to show you guys the sample of how it looks like.
so I can get so this is the back this is going to be the side it's going to overlap each other just like this it's going to be the side you can see the dots in between here can you see this is going to be an overlap and here is going to be our our body see that and there's also going to be a dart in between here you see that so here will be our Maybe you can see it clearly and do it like this just like this this is the back this is the side which we use for an overlap. You can definitely see the dots inside, and this will be the front. So this will be the lap now. Can you see that? So after cutting this, this is how it looks like. The next thing I'll be doing is I will be look at what I want to do. I want to cut out this pocket aspect, so I'm going to cut it. I'm going to slit it open down to this part, then I'm going to cut out the dabs. I want you to pay closer attention to that. You see what I just cut this out, so I'm going to cut out the dabs. I'm just going to put it right there. See that? So you need to cut out the dots inside also. See that? Pow! That's what I'm talking about. So, we have our soup. So doing the swimming aspects, you guys are going to enjoy the process. I hope so. Hope you're going to enjoy the process. So if you like the video, see. Here is what we have so far. This is the color aspect. Let me take a closer look at this. This is what we have. At this point, there will be a um a pocket um a pocket that's the front pocket, but it will be at this side. And I mostly draft out the pocket during the sewing aspect. So this is what we have. Can you see? you see that's it in total so after cutting the uh, after cutting the um the sleeve that's the shoe sleeve i'm going to cut the lining so it's not an easy process so i want you guys and i hope you guys will follow through so before we go into the sewing aspect thank you for watching so let's go into the sleeve cutting right now <laughs> 